Hi guys! So I finally got to use my Tamanna palette that I bought from Anastasia Cosmetics about a week ago and I feel like someone told me it was sold out and then it was back in stock, I'm not sure. But you need to go out and get this palette because it is one of the most beautiful palettes I've ever used. And all of the colors are seriously the most complimentary colors for the Indian skin tone. So I mean the girl that created this, I would want to say Tamanna, the girl that created the palette. Um, I think she's like half Indian, half something else. I could be wrong, but she really knows, you know, her girl. And this is the most beautiful palette. The colors are so creamy, so pigmented, and I just, I love everything about the palette. I will have a full review video listed in the down bar so you guys can check that out along with pictures and everything on my blog. So be sure to check that out as well. So if you want to learn how I created this look, keep watching. So as usual, I've already primed my eyes with Painterly Paint Pot from MAC. And now I'm going to use my beautiful Tamana palette. And I'm not going to really use any other eyeshadows except for the ones in this palette. Um, I actually don't need to because this palette is so versatile. So if I actually post the full review of this palette, I will link that down below so you guys can check that out as well. Alright, so the palette actually comes with these like how to get the look cards. And it's a step by step in the back which is really really helpful. So I picked one out and I'm going to be doing, I don't think there's a name for it. But I'm going to be doing this look. So it's like a really smoky, um, I guess it has like a little bit of a, like an amber color eyeshadow going. So this is the look I'm going to do. It's really easy to follow. Yep, very simple. So let's get started. So I'm not going to really follow step by step how it tells you to do here. I just basically will get the basic idea from this. So we'll do that. So I'm going to start off with a blending brush. This is a Max 217 and I'm going to start off with Sangria which is this beautiful plum color. This is a very complimentary skin uh, color for the Indian slash brown slash olive skin tone and I'm just going to use that. I'm going to get that on my brush and I'm going to just apply that into my crease and then bring it inward. So I'm basically creating like a circle with it on my entire eyes. So you want to bring it all the way in. So you can see that I'm taking it all the way from the back and bringing it all the way into the tear duct of my eye. And then you just want to buff that into that part. Or you want just want to buff it into your eye. I'm not adding any more product. And then you want to just take a blending brush, a bigger blending brush, like so, and Buff that out so there are no harsh lines. Okay, so the Sangria eyeshadow is all done. Next, I'm going to take chocolate from the palette and I'm going to use that same brush that I was using for the Sangria. Just getting it on the tips of the brush and then I'm going to go right above the Sangria and trace it right back the same way I did with the first eyeshadow. So this is just basically creating a lot of depth on the eye and giving it like that 3D look and just smokes it out really beautifully. This is a perfect, perfect um, dark brown. It's so matte and it's so it goes on so smoothly. It's amazing. So I'm just putting this into the crease and blending it inwards like so. You want to keep most of the color on the outer V and then just bring in whatever's left over on your brush into the rest of the eye. A really good trick is when you have the eyeshadow, like what you put it on your brush, just tap it off so you get the excess off easily that way. So doing the same thing and then you do want to bring it all the way in like we did the, with the Sangria eyeshadow. Okay, next I'm going to take Gilded Eyeshadow, which I know a lot of you guys would love. This reminds me really like of like a gold satin taupe color. It's a really beautiful like dirty gold and very, very complimentary to all the Indian skin tones. So I'm just going to take that with actually the brush that came in this palette. And I have to say the brush is not bad. And I'm just going to put that in this part here where we didn't add any eyeshadow. So in the center of my eye, just really push it in. And you'd never want to like rub the eyeshadow in. I just like to pat it into the eye area wherever I want to put it in. So 
So the eyeshadow is pretty much done. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of the blush and fresh, mix them together, and that's going to create my highlight. So I'm going to add the blush first, and this has a little bit of a sheen. And I'm just putting that right under my brows. And I'm going to go over it with the fresh, which is like a matte highlight. Like that. And then I'm going to just buff that out. So let's move on to the other parts of the eye. I'm taking this Lord & Berry sample cudgel that I received in one of my Ipsy bags. And I have to say, I don't hate it. It's not bad. I'm just going to put that in my waterline all the way. So next I'm going to add some eyeliner and mascara and then I'll be right back to show you guys the rest of my face. Just in case anybody's wondering, I'm using the Black Track Fluid Line from MAC for my eyeliner and for my mascara, I'm using the Urban Decay Perversion. I really, really love this. So anyways, I'm going to put this on and then I'll be right back to show you guys the rest of my face. So the eyes are pretty much done. I'm just going to smoke it out a little bit more. I'm going to take that Noir again. And I'm taking that, I've literally used one, or actually I've used two blending brushes, but this is the brush that I've used the most. And I'm just going to smoke out the edges, the outer V a little bit more, just like that, and then just buff it out. So the eyes are pretty much done. We'll go back and add some eyeshadow on the bottom in a little bit. For my face, um, actually for my concealer, I'm using the Camouflage Palette from Coastal Scents. And I'm going to use, um, which shade do I like? I think I like this one. I'm going to use this color here. And I'm just going to take my finger and just put that right underneath my eyes. Not using too much like I did in my last video. And... I'll buff that out with a brush. And I'm just going to buff that out using Sigma's F64 brush. I love this brush for under the eyes. And then just blend that out. And these concealers just blend so beautifully. I've done a full review of this on my blog if you want to see with more pictures and whatnot. So I will leave that in the link down below so you can check that out. I really, really recommend this palette. It's so inexpensive and these concealers are actually very long lasting. And like I said, they blend beautifully and I love them. So for the rest of my face, I'm going to be using my Revlon Color Stay in the shade 360 Golden Caramel. So if you're on the NC42 color range, this might be a good color choice for you. This is a very long lasting foundation. I'll give it that. But the only reason why I don't like it, number one, is the fact that there's no pump but you know that's easy you can buy that that's not even the reason I find that this foundation does oxidize over time at least on me I've read amazing reviews about this so it's really weird that you know it happens to me but yeah you know over time I'll start to look like two shades darker than I really am so that's the only reason why I'm not the biggest fan of the foundation but overall it is a very nice full coverage long-lasting foundation so if you are in the market for an inexpensive foundation that lasts forever, try this one. So I'm just buffing this in. I don't know if I already mentioned, but I'm using the Sigma F80 Kabuki Flat Kabuki Brush. I'm in love with this brush. So soft. Next, I'm going to take my NYX Concealer. It's the one in the little pot and in the shade, let's see. CJ04 Beige. I think this is the darkest shade that it comes in. And I'm just going to apply this right underneath my eyes again. And the only reason why I'm applying two concealers is because the first one was a very pinky based, like salmon based color. And that was the corrector. So that really took away the darkness under the eyes. This is a yellow based concealer. And it's a little bit lighter than my skin tone. So what it's doing is it's actually highlighting under the eyes and brightening it and just making it making me look awake and just making the eyes pop so I just like to put this underneath with my fingers you can of course blend it out if you want just with your fingers but I'm gonna use that same Sigma brush that I used earlier because it just makes it that much easier and I'm just gonna buff this out 
So I'll finish the rest of my face in a second. I just want to add something on my lips. I'm going to use Milani's 25 Natural Chic. And this is the most beautiful nude. I just can't even put it down. I've talked about it on my blog. I've talked about, about it on my Instagram. I've used it, I think, in a video before. I'm in love with this nude. So I'm just going to put this on. It is just so pretty and like a perfect dupe for Cosmo by MAC. I love it. I actually like this so much more than Cosmo, which I never thought I would be able to say because you guys know I love that color. Anyways, moving right along. So on my face, I'm actually going to use this Lacme powder. This is the Lacme powder in the shade Natural Marble. And this is actually very light for my skin. So I just like to use this under my eyes. And that's really the area that creases the most anyway. So I'm just going to put this under my eyes because it's too light for me to use anywhere else on my face. The consistency of the powder is actually not bad. And honestly, I've had this powder for so many years now and I've finally just made a dent in it. So that's great. So to finish my face, I'm gonna be using the Sleek Makeup um, Palette and this is the Contouring and Blush Palette in the shade Light. I really, really like the palette. The problem that I find only with me though, because I've read really good reviews about this, that the contour it's a little bit muddy on me over time but other than that the colors are beautiful I love the blush it is a very good dupe for like the NARS orgasm blush I really really enjoy that I'm gonna just use that contour color just to add a little bit of contouring on my face and I'm using the MAC 109 brush I don't know why mine gives such a hard time with fallout I don't know if any of you guys have any issues with that but mine's, I have so much shedding with this brush, it's crazy. Anyways, I'm just putting this all over my cheeks, bringing it up to my temples, and buffing it out. So for my blush, I'm gonna be using the this beautiful like coral color from the same palette. And I'm using it with the Soho brush. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of this. I've never heard of it. I was randomly in TJ Maxx and I saw it in the impulse section and I bought it. And I really, really like it. It was only like $4. And um, this is real gold hair. So that's pretty impressive, I thought. And I'm just putting this on my cheeks. It's a really beautiful like sheen. Like You never need to add... I never feel like I need to add a highlight with this because it has a beautiful sheen anyway. So I'm just putting this on my cheeks. So I'm pretty much done with the entire look. I just want to add a little something to the bottom lashes or the lower lash line. And I'm going to use this color. I'm going to use a mixture of this, these two colors. So this is Bengal and chocolate. I'm just going to mix those together and use that. So first I'm starting off with the Bengal color. And I'm just putting this right underneath. This is the most beautiful transition color. You guys know I love my texture eyeshadow from MAC. This is even better than that because it's so, it's so much creamier, the eyeshadow. I just can't get over it. So it's like a perfect transition color. Anyway, I'm just putting this underneath the waterline. And then we'll build it with that chocolate color. I'm doing the chocolate color and I'm just gonna buff it out. So this is the final look. I really hope you guys liked it. I'm gonna actually do a close-up so you guys can see exactly what I did and any of the details that might have been missed. I really, really love it. I mean, I would highly recommend this palette. You need to just run out and get this palette. It is the most beautiful, versatile colors. And I'll leave the full review of this palette in the down bar so you guys can check that out. Hopefully, I will have posted it before posting this video. So, yes. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.